Aycock 45 here with a new AR. Well, at least a new upper. You know, I've been talking about this for a while, looking into some different upper for my AR that's not 223-556 caliber. I really like that intermediate round, round that the AK-47 fires, the 762 by 39 and have investigated that uh, over the years. Always get talked out of it for various reasons, unreliable magazines and, you know, whatever. And uh, recently learned about the 300 AC blackout and that got me excited. And I started researching and reading and finding out everything I could about it over the last couple of weeks. And now I have one, at least the upper. And it takes the same uh, magazines. All you have to do is change out the barrel. Uh, this is on my Bushmaster uh, lower. Just pop it on. And I didn't even need the upper, actually. Just needed to switch out the barrel. But I just went ahead and got an upper. Okay, so I can just switch it out if I want to go back and forth between the two cartridges. Really sweet cartridge. Use the same AR magazines, as I said. The same bolt, same carrier. The only thing that has to be changed is the barrel, and it's a 30 caliber. What I have in the magazine here are 147 grain uh, 308 bullets, basically the same NATO, I guess, bullet. You know, uh, essentially, uh, in the magazine right now. And we're going to take a couple of shots, and I'll show you what we got. How's that? All right. Let's see if I can hit anything with it. We just got the sights on, and uh, we'll see if. If they're anywhere close, let's try that red plate. All right. <laughs> That's not bad for government work. Let's try that little two liter right there. <laughs> As usual. Well, I didn't miss it. Oh, I know what it was. Okay. I was aiming low. Got to remember, you got to hold that hold high when you're shooting just bit, like whatever, 15 yards, 20 yards away. So this is the uh, 300 AAC blackout. Let's, uh, let's empty it right here real quickly and let you take a look at what we have. Got a big mag there, don't we? There's the round, and that is a surefire mag. Now, you don't have to have a surefire mag, but uh, that's something I picked up recently. Thought that might be an interesting magazine. Holds uh, 60 rounds of either 223, of course, 556, five, or the blackout. Doesn't matter. That's a, that's a stud. Look at that thing. I think it's about the same. That's well, a little bit longer, but it holds 60 rounds. I think they make one that holds 100. So it kind of obviates the need for a drum magazine, I guess, in a lot of ways. But isn't that a dude? <laughs> About that thing. That's pretty cool. Not cheap, but it's pretty cool. Okay. So anyway, back to the blackout. Uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, I, I really like the concept, and I think, I think it ought to fly. Might not. Uh, the only disadvantage I can think of right now is the uh, cost of the ammo. And that should improve. More manufacturers are loading it, uh, I think, by the week. And uh, UMC is supposed to have out some, uh, some lower-cost ammo pretty, pretty soon. Maybe uh, it is out by the time you see this. I don't know. But uh, right now, it's pretty expensive to shoot unless you hand load. And uh, that's what I'll do for it if that doesn't change. Let me roll it over here. This has the, the Knight's Armament Company. It has the uh, Knight uh, rail on it. And uh, that's the way that came. I actually got this from uh, AAC down in Georgia. So uh, this upper comes from them. And uh, Advanced Armament Corporation. They developed it. They're part of the Freedom Group, along with several companies. Marlin, Remington, uh, who else? Uh, I think H&R and uh, Barnes, I think, is now part of that company. But it was all developed kind of in-house within that group. And uh, as I understand, and I don't know everything about it, some of you know more than I do, you, know, you can Google it and do some research. I did enough to get excited about it and to know a little bit about it, enough that I, I wanted it because I've been looking at this. I, I like this AK round. I just have fun shooting it. I like an AK. It's kind of neat, you know, the historical uh, significance of it and everything. You know, 125 grain, 125, 120, 130 grain bullet, whatever you have. 
you know, going at whatever, 2,000, 22, 2,300 feet per second. It's just fun to shoot. Uh, it just is. And about is and about all you need. Depends on what your mission is, right? Well, look at the difference. Let's go ahead and kind of take a little look here. Well, both of these on the left are, you know, there are the the blackout rounds. The one on the extreme left is 147 grain bullet. The other one uh, with a polymer tip is uh, 125, I believe. And then you got the AK round on the right. So you see the AK round has a bigger case, and that was the problem. Part of the problem with that and getting it in an AR uh, with the same bolt at least is you need a different bolt. And then also, you see, notice the AK magazine, and it's the reason I brought it out here, it has a, it's more of a banana magazine because of the contour of the case, you know, it's neck down more. Whereas the AR mag is more of a straight mag almost, you know, as compared. And that's been part of the problem, you know, getting reliability in, a, uh, in an AR. You got to have a, you know, it's hard to even get one in there. I mean, I mean no, that's not going to fit. But an AR magazine designed, you know, to work right that has the, the right amount of curvature. Okay. Well, the beauty of this, uh, the thing that really got my attention was that, and I will show you, and I'd be really careful here. The only 223 ammo on this table is in this short magazine. That's what I have in there. Uh, 223, 556 five, ammo. There's three rounds in here. Okay, so this is an AR mag, of course. No trickery here for those of you who haven't heard about this. So that's the, uh, the AR. Let's, let's compare that while we see the difference. That's what I just took out. So on the left, you've got the AR rounds, a little bit longer. And you basically have the, the 5.56 five, brass cut down and then you know, it's just not neck down as far, of course, because it has uh, a 30 caliber bullet. It has the 308 diameter bullet. That's the, another beauty of it. It's, uh, you know, the Russian, the uh, 762 by 39 is a little bit of an odd size. I think it's oversized or something, so it's always an issue when you're reloading. I know it used to be for the, uh, the old the Ruger Mini 30s. You know, I know they had problems early on with the barrel because they couldn't put a standard 308 barrel in and all that kind of thing. And people are shooting bigger diameter uh, 762 by 39 bullets in them and it was hard on them. And all that. Well, this is a standard uh, 308. You know, all kinds of bullets are available for reloading as they always have been. And what I was going to show you is that's the AR magazine. In case you thought I was trying to trick you, I would never do that, would I? See, these uh, they just go right in there. Same magazine. So the beauty of it. Okay, same case, up shorter, a little bit longer bullet depending on the weight of the bullet. Okay, so you essentially have an AK round here, the equivalent of it uh, in an AR. Same magazine, same bolt, because it's the same uh, same case, you know. I think I stuck those in my pocket, but you can see the, there's the 223. I pulled one back out, we don't want to mix them up. See, same, same head and everything, okay? So let's put him back in my pocket so I don't mix them up. All right, so, uh, 300 blackout, so it's commonly referred to uh, as, and uh, that's the beauty. All you have to do is switch out your upper. You can take this off, and you probably already know how to do that, right? Get the pin out. Yeah, I have it uh, caught. That's, that's a problem. That comes loose. You take this pin out right here, and. That's that simple. That's the upper. That's the 300 blackout. Here's the uh, original uh, upper. Pop it in there, back in there. I'm not going to put the pins back in. And, you know, I could, I could load up, have a mag of 223, and shoot it. Then I could take that off and go back, of course. So pretty handy. Uh, I like it so far. I, uh, I am glad I took the leap. It is a little bit of a leap because, uh, you know, the ammo... It's not there yet in terms of volume or, you know, and certainly no bulk ammo that I've seen. And uh, I've had to pay dearly to get the ammo. That's out there. It's available. It's just kind of pricey. For a box of 20, it's anywhere from like 14 something to 25 or 30 bucks, you know. So uh, you probably average a buck a shot, you know, depending on where you're getting it. And uh, a lot of it is out of stock that I was trying to get this week. But I did get some. And it is a sweet tea. I, uh, I think I like it. I don't know if you can tell from the shooting, the recoil, 
little more than uh, two two three, but uh, five five six, but 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 soft. I was expecting a little bit more because really these guns, I I haven't weighed them, but they don't feel as heavy as an AK, and you've got basically the same ballistics. So uh, that's kind of nice. It, it shoots very, uh, I'd say, soft in a lot of ways. The uh, sights on this, and what I like about this uh, uh, upper from uh, you know from Advanced Armor is that it has uh, just a pop-up you know front sight. So that was kind of neat. I was already shopping for sights. I'd forgotten it had that, and I did put uh, this back. It was a Magpul Rain Bus. I don't know if I forget what it is, but I I just got that today and popped it on there. And it seems to be on, had to lower uh, the, the front sight. You can actually adjust that front sight. That was pretty cool because <laughs> it was shooting a little bit low out there. Took a few shots and then adjusted that a little bit. And that's, that's all we've done. So uh, she seems to be on. And again, you have the same bolt. And uh, yeah, it's just an AR, basically, with a different barrel. That's all it is. So I'm, not, I'm excited about it. It's, it's, it's fun. Now, one of the other things I didn't mention was this. Uh, one of the reasons for developing this, and as I understand, they were developing this for the military as much as anything. They really wanted a round that was a little bit bigger and a little bit more knockdown power, perhaps at intermediate ranges, and something that that suppresses well. Because a lot of these that you see, if you Google these, you'll see a lot of these in like 10-inch barrels, 9-inch barrels, 8 and half inch barrels. You know, it's hard to find a 16-inch barrel almost. Because a lot of people are, are, are building, uh, you know, short-barreled rifles and suppressing them. And that's one of the key uh, uses of the military and special ops people, I think. Uh, it, 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 it provides, one of the other advantages is it, it provides a suppressed round. They have, I think, up to about 220 grain bullet cranking out at around 1,000 feet per second. Uh, suppressed, very quiet, what they tell me, very quiet. People you read on the forums, it's, you can hear the bolt clicking and that's it but yet more effective than a nine millimeter. You know, it's suppressed uh, velocities and that kind of thing. So that's part of the reason, part of the rationale. Uh, may not be anything that interests you personally, if your main interest in these kinds of guns is trying to get them to group half an inch at, you know, 800 yards and that sort of thing. But uh, it's, it's just the ticket for what I like to do and the kind of shooting I enjoy doing. So basically I've got an AR here, or a AK in a lot of ways, and an AR platform, that's the way I look at it. So let's take a few more shots with it, have some more fun with it. And we've got, let's see, what do we have? We got <laughs> some more rounds in that big magazine. And we got just another standard AR magazine. Now those are standard AR magazines, by the way. Even though they're kind of a, a new thing, I don't think they've been out very long. Made by Surefire, you know, who was famous for making great flashlights. And uh, they, they seem to work. We've tested both of them. I haven't tested them with uh, 223 yet, but I'm sure they work. This is a standard... Uh, you know, 556 five, magazine again that I've used over the years with uh, with that round. So let's just use it a little bit, and take a few shots. We're not going to use too many shots. Rather expensive right now. Okay. See, that one might be full. Of, yeah, that's okay. Must have loaded it down one. All right. What do we have here that needs to be shot? Well, let's see. Got a couple of jugs hanging up over there. We can shoot those. Those red ones. Got one hanging right in the middle. I believe I need to hold right on the bottom of it. We'll see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Almost can't see my sight. I'm gonna try the one on the ground over there. There we go. Let's move in a little closer. We got some weird lighting here. All right. <laughs> All right, get this guy. Nice. Get this guy right here. Okay, sweet, sweet. I'm gonna let's see if I can see those pins well enough. Tell you what, if you can tell, 
that front sight is really small. I'm not sure if that's just an illusion because of the lighting today or not. It could be that as I experiment with that, I will want to change that out to, uh, you know, to another, a different sight because you just pop another one on there, whatever you like. But the, the actual post seems a lot smaller than any post I have ever used, which I generally would like if the lighting is, is good. Well, let's try it again and uh, see if I can come up with another excuse. I'm going to take a shot at the bowling pins. There we go. All right. I think the windage is pretty close because uh, you definitely would not be hitting a bowling pin. You know, if your windage is not pretty good, you're not going to hit a bowling pin. They're, they're smaller than they look, actually. All right, got any more two liters? Here's a Coke can. I wonder if I can hit him at close range. Hit the aim high. Uh, get the safety off might help. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. Nice. This is fun. I shouldn't be shooting this much. It's <laughs> an expensive booger to shoot. Let's, uh, let's go down here and pop this. Uh, pumpkin a couple of times. This is our last pumpkin of the season, I think. He's been sitting around letting squirrels gnaw on him. Let's put a couple on him. If I can hit him. All right. A couple of holes anyway. So uh, let's go back up to the table for a second. Uh, see if there's anything else I haven't mentioned about this. Some of you might be interested in this as well. You might have been studying it and uh, and everything and you might have just totally dismissed it uh, for various reasons maybe the cost of the ammo or uh, possibly like i said you're just interested in long range accuracy pinpoint accuracy way way out there i know maybe this isn't uh uh you know for you i don't know but i just like that fat little i've, I've always liked these fat little bullets uh in the ak like i say you got the same bullet uh basically you know in the blackout and, and even heavier if you want uh, i think they, I'm not sure what the lightest bullet is. It's around 100 grains, I think, and then all the way up to uh, maybe 220. I have seen 220 grain bullets available for it, you know, particularly for suppressed uh, fire, subsonic fire. So, pretty neat. Uh, same mags. That is the real beauty of it right there. Oh, you need the barrel. You don't even have to buy an upper. Some of y'all that are really handy you can switch out barrels on an AR. You can just order a barrel and stick it in there and just go with it. So. Uh, so anyway, that is the uh, my first look and, and shooting, uh, at least whatever I shot there, uh, other than just a few test rounds and to uh, get the sights close, uh, of the 300 AAC Blackout. And uh, this particular gun is from Advanced Armament Corporation, uh, this upper, uh, with a, uh, as I say, the Knight's Armament uh, rail on it. It's actually the URX2 mid-length four-end assembly, as it's called. It's written right on there. And uh, that's what I have. So, kind of like it so far. I think it's uh, going to be a keeper. Uh, if I have to, I will hand load for it. Uh, if ammo doesn't start becoming available at uh, quite a bit less, uh, I will do that. Be picking up my brass and uh, load them up and shoot them again. So, that's my first look at it, really, and uh, maybe your first look too. Pretty cool. Life is good.